No Daniel Jeremiah. He did not levitate. But if he did, we got him to sit down here. Tyro Williams got a couple of touchdowns to the Chargers win over Cleveland. Joins us live now on Up to the Minute. Congratulations on a great game, Tyrell. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Which, which touchdown do you want to break down first? You want, you want to break down the wrestle the ball touchdown? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do, let's it. do that. All right. Because the ball's up in the air. And honestly, I think everyone thinks it's getting picked, right? It, it, Demarius Randall goes up. I think he has it. Everyone thinks he has it. And then somehow you get the football. How'd that happen? Uh, really, I mean, I just saw the ball in the air and, you know, I felt he had a hand on it, but, uh, you know, I just tried to use the strength and, and take it away and, and make sure I came down with it. You know, I know the, off the, the tie always goes to the offense no matter what, so as long as I just had, had some hands on I'd be good. Did Demarius have it when he hit the ground and then you got those two arms underneath it, or did you have it in the air? Uh, I had it in the air. You know, it was kind of a tie once we got to the ground, once we, you know, the, the bodies landed, but uh, I was able to just – pulled away at the last second to make sure I, I had it for the ref to see. And on that drive, they got you twice. Phillip basically called your number, basically one-man drive, on back-to-back plays. Yeah, we knew we, uh, we got the coverage we wanted. You know, it worked out well to, on the first one. Uh, once we snapped it, I knew we had the right coverage and, and was able to hit it. And then I was surprised we came right back to it, but I was excited. You know, I had the juice going from the first one, so I was ready to go again. And and luckily, he, he put it up and gave me a chance again. Come on. There wasn't part of you in the huddle that was like, man, you're going to make me run again? No, definitely not. When you, know, <laughs> you know if the ball's coming to you, you're excited. So I was, I was ready for it. All right, let's look at the other touchdown, Tyrell. Because uh, even Phillip admitted afterwards, Russell Lacoon basically took two steps backwards, right? So the Browns' D-line thought they were getting an illegal motion. Did the DBs react the same way? No, I don't think so. I mean, I, I thought I saw it out of the corner of my eye. He might have uh, went early, but I still just – I didn't hear a whistle, so I just kept going, and it seemed like all, on the back end everybody was moving. So, uh, shoot, if there's no whistle, it can't be, a, can't be a foul. Just like basketball, if they don't call it, it, I mean, it wasn't a false start. So, yeah. And even if they admit they got it wrong, you still get credit for the touchdown. So, so who cares? I'm good. I'm good, good, exactly. All right, and you're in Cleveland today. For those who do not know, the Chargers didn't come home because you guys are going to London to play the Titans. Can I run down your schedule here? Because I don't think people realize what the schedule makers did to you. You guys had a home game, right, um, against Mm -hmm. the Raiders. Then you go to Cleveland. Then you go to London from Cleveland. You didn't practice today, but you're going to fly on Thursday. Then you get a bye week. Then you get road games at Seattle and at Oakland. Tyrell, you guys have 41 days between home games that's absurd yeah it'll be a tough little stretch but I mean I I think we're you know we're ready for it it should be it'll be a tough test for us but I think it'll be good you know being here getting the team bonding being on this trip and and going to London I think it'll be good for us and it'll really test if we get through this stretch I think we'll have a good shot I know it's a week by week thing but has Anthony Lynn said anything to you guys about going so long without playing in your own building no, I mean, I didn't even know until you just you just brought that up. That's going to be 41 days. So, uh, I mean, if we just do what we've been doing, you know, I think being on the road isn't going to be huge for us. But, um, you know, if we just keep playing like we've been playing, I think we'll have a good chance to, to finish off this little road trip. Tyrell, where are you guys in the AFC? I know you lost to the Chiefs. We have the Chiefs and the Patriots. Everyone saw that great game on Sunday. And then I think people are kind of searching who's the next team in the AFC yeah, I mean, State. Think, Make the case for the Chargers. Uh, you know, the way we've been playing, I think we, you know, we're on the way up right now. Uh, started a little slow with uh, that first game, the first the first week. But, um, you know, things are starting to click. The offense is playing really well right now. Phil's playing out of his mind. And the defense starting to make plays, get takeaways. So we just keep rolling like that. You know, special teams have been making plays in the, in the return game. So uh, I'm excited. I think we're, we're going to be able to keep rolling from here. All right, got to ask you this last thing, I promise. Uh, what's with the sweatshirt? You you, you uh, big astronaut fan? Man, that's the second time someone's asked me. You know, I just like the sweatshirt. That was all. <laughs> I think it's cool. Hey, Bradley Chubb, you know, for the, uh, for the Broncos, his, uh, his Twitter handle is astronaut. There you go. Yeah, pretty cool. I like the sweatshirt. Thank you.